Hello. Hey. It's Dodge and Fusky. Uh, it's tour number three. Um, as you can see, I've got my sunglasses on. Just got back from Australia, and I haven't taken them off yet. Um, we're going to be doing uh, structure today. Uh, track structure. So, giving you a few pointers of ways you should stru tr uh, structure your track if you um, if you want to make it kind of DJ friendly. Yeah. Uh, now, obviously. What we're going to say is not how you should make music, how you should make structured tracks. You know, make tunes how you want to make them. But if you do want to send them to DJs, um, there's definitely some pointers and what makes it DJ friendly, easy for them to play out. And certainly, if you don't send it to people in a similar structure to what we're about to explain, they probably will edit it. I mean, that's what we do if we get sent a tune with a weird structure. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So without further ado, um, I'm going to start looking at showing you some basics. Okay, so everything's kind of when we mention it's made out of blocks of sixteen bars. Okay, which, which we'll refer to as phrases. I'm not sure if that's the correct musical term. I think it is. Phrases will do. Yeah, yeah it will do. Um, so what we've got here is we start off with an intro. Now, again, this isn't how all dubstep tunes are made. This is generally how we'll make a dubstep tune, and it's a very straightforward way, a foolproof way, foolproof if you like, way, yeah. if, uh, way of making it. I mean, if I can make it, anyone fucking can. Uh, so there's an intro here, which is 16 bars. Uh, so that'd be like drums, generally speaking, just fairly straight up drums um, with some kind of musical intro. Maybe just kind of a ticky tacky sort of ticky tacky -tick thing uh, with it's music. Really, yeah, it's a good thing actually to point out. In an intro, um, quite often you get a track that perhaps just has just um, some chords or like no rhythm basically, yeah. and that as a DJ makes it. Very, very difficult. Oh, yeah. to Don't try and mix. fucking do that. It's really <laughs> annoying. So if you any get... tune that we've had that's got just a musical intro, we will we'll put our own hi hats add, over the top. So some sort of rhythmical element because it's when you're trying to beat match, it's or yeah. beat match. It's really, really yeah, difficult. It's a fucking nightmare. Basically, the good, good tip is to make it your intro definitely at the beginning, nice clear rhythm and not too much kind of white noisy high end stuff that's going to make it hard to hear the hi hats or mm. the kicks, or whatever. I can in allow, in a loud DJ booth or whatever you want to hear something. Definitive. Yeah, make it, it make it easy to hear the pattern so it's easy to, for DJ to match up. Anyway, so we've got 16 bars intro, and we've got a 16 second block, which is 16 bars of breakdown and build up. So that's what it'll go that kind of like, for like the first half, yeah. and then but kind of build up. Boom, 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 yeah. boom. The, the, the kind of clues in the names really like a breakdown, so it's breaking down the energy and a build yeah. up is building up the energy. Okay, it's, you don't have to make the 16 bars, you could make it twice the length, yeah. like a, a, a double length one, but this is. Yeah. A nice foolproof way, and to be honest with you, I'd say two out of three dub tunes pretty much follow this exact structure. Yeah. Anyway, then we've got what we refer to as the A section. So this is your main drop, 16 bars. Then what we tend to do is put in a B, what we call a B section. So that'll be kind of a bit more melodic, but less heavy, a bit of a break from the flat out. Yeah. Rah, 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 yeah. Gives, gives the kind of dance for a bit of room to breathe. And, uh, yeah, yeah they, they could definitely use that. Yeah. You see, after people we play to, <laughs> <laughs> and then back into the what we call the A section. So generally, it will be kind of copy what you've already made for the A section, maybe make it a bit different, maybe have a like, sort of thing at the beginning, I don't know, yeah, where we can add some editing, but yeah, it's, it's, it's to repeat what rabbit in. noises or something, yeah. like, <laughs> something like but that. to repeat what's already gone, it's, it's, it's not constant changing, people have something familiar that they recognise kind of thing, as a yeah. listener. Yeah, exactly, so it kind of goes, it breaks, comes back into the main bit again, so you're kind of, you're getting to use your material twice, without only having to write it once, but because you've got the break in the middle, it feels all fresh. Okay, and then after that, we tend to go back into another breakdown build-up. So, if you can see, this bit here, so everything from, like, after the intro, the breakdown, the ABC, you kind of just copy over. I mean, it's, it's good to change it and like, edit it, make, make the second drop a bit bigger, make it a bit different, I don't know. But, essentially, you're kind of going around again. Yeah. So you're breaking down again, you're building up, and then you've got your second drop here, so your second A section, A, B, A section again. Um, so bear in mind, a lot of people will double drop there, so it'll be the next tune coming in. Something to remember, before you make some massive, long, epic second part, which is a complete... Because I've seen some people um, were making almost like a different tune, making it really interesting for the listener. Bear in mind, most DJs will cut it out either at the second breakdown or at the second drop. They'll double drop it or they'll drop it in something else. So before you spend hours and hours of time writing something amazing for the second, your second set of ABA section, bear in mind that most DJs probably won't actually play it. Yeah. Uh, and then at the end of the A section you get the bit that no one really hears, which is the outro, which is kind of like an intro, 
but broken down. So some yeah. DJs, I mean, this is kind of more harking back to the house music era. Where yeah, you absolutely. Have yeah. Broken down, just down to drums again, and you so can have the entire the six minutes of tune, and then you have literally just drums and maybe a tiny melodic reference to the tune just gone. But yeah, it's yeah. kind of it's found its way. It's wormed its way into dubstep, and not. Every tune does it. Yeah, you don't necessarily a... need it, but we're kind of to do it out of habit. So in case you've had some serious problems with the CDJs a lot, you know, when you're DJing, you can just kind of, it's a foolproof place you can mix out of if you had to use it as a last resort. And it gives you a little bit more room to breathe if you're running out of tune. Yeah. But without you having to write any extra music there, because frankly, no one's going to bloody hear it. So just what I would personally do is get your B section, copy it over to where your outro is, and just take all your sub out. All your bass, yeah. Yeah, all the bass out. Or any kind of like raspy noises. Okay, right, that's kind of the theory. Thank you mm, for that watching. Is the, that is a very simple, typical structure. As yeah, as personified in Dodge's Photoshop yeah. thing. Uh, right, anyway, so we're going to, <laughs> into, <laughs> going to um, Cubase now to kind of show. We're going to show you a bit of a track called Sick, which is in our last EP, which you should go and buy if you haven't already. Mm. Um, so what we're going to do is have a look at the kind of breakdown build-up bit. I'm going to kind of hit play in a second and you'll hear how it plays. If you want to hear all of Sick, we haven't got time to play all of it in this tutorial, go on YouTube, type in Dodge and Fusky Sick, it'll come up, it's on your calf. Uh, anyway, so we'll play it and then I'll kind of go through, we'll kind of explain benefits and different ways of doing build-ups. Anyway, so, so this is the second lot of 16 uh, bars? Yeah, yeah, second, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, second lot of 16 bars. Um, <laughs> deliberately uh, facetious. Um, yeah, it's the second lot, so this is the, the, uh, the breakdown build-up. So 16 bars of intro and then this is where it goes. Yeah, exactly. So we'll play it anyway so you can kind of hear. Okay, so basically, as you can hear, after your intro, you kind of you want the energy to sort of dip down, so there's kind of a level of expectation, and then you want to slowly build back up. So the, the, the purpose of it is so the drop doesn't just come out of nowhere. There's some suspense. The whole point of dance music is, it, in my opinion, anyway, this isn't, you know, before pure again, it should be kind of predictable to a certain extent. So when people are on a dance with their dance and they know it's about to drop, you need to give them loads of cues so they know what's coming, they can get ready to go, woo! Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you want, you, so you want it. You want, you want to catch them slightly off guard with perhaps what they actually, you, that, you can catch them off guard with what the drop is. So mm. perhaps it drops in something when expecting, but as long as it comes where it's expected, because, yeah. I mean, a tri a, some Something perhaps again from like the old kind of house trancey days was um, you'd have this 16 bar build up and then it still happens now and then there'll be an extra bar or two added on where people expect it to drop and it doesn't. A and fake I think drop, yes. Yeah, so where the drop yeah. should be there'll be like a and like an extra bar. Don't fucking do that. It's yeah. really annoying. <laughs> if you tell anyone that's trying to double drop a tune with it, will just be really yeah. pissed or off. Or even just mix. Like, exactly. It's very and, if you send it to me anyway, I'll edit it out. Yeah, it's it'll just be fucking chopped. irritating. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll have a quick look now at how this kind of breakdown is structured. Now, every tune's different. We have been covering Greta Step before, but the thing with Greta Step is the drop is kind of just like this vocal sample with the glitch plugin over, over it, with me randomly hitting keys and the glitch plugin goes and it drops. Pretty so much like that. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so rather than doing that, we thought we'd show you this one. So I'll look at a couple of the noises. So there's kind of typical noises, on the, when, it, when it breaks down we've got these kind of, I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see a bit better, there's these kind of um, whooshy sort of breakdown noises, so we've got, uh, we've got shit like this, like, like hold to solo there, um, so we've got shit like this, um, so, oh. that's, that's, that's the bass noise high pass, sorry, wrong one, right, <laughs> uh, there's stuff like this, we can't really yeah, I'm doing a good job at this, <laughs> aren't I? Um, if you zoom out a bit, and then you can get more of an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, there's um, where's a good sort of sweet noise? There's a sweet, sweet noise here, so you've got... There's all these kind of atmospheric noises, and then there's kind of like these breakdown sweeps, uh, like this one here. In the tonality of the sound, it's, I mean, it goes down like in pitch and in timbre, yeah. it just goes and kind of 
And then conversely for the build up. Um, Pretty much exactly the opposite. Yeah, so you can see here we've got these kind of sweep noises. You can see on the waveform, like, yeah, yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's kind of building up. And, yeah. So I'll play those now as well. Stuff like that. Um, it just kind of gives people cues that the energy's coming, it's about to happen. Um, basically, these noises, you don't need to make them yourself. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a um, fucking thousand and one of them in various, again, sample bass, our choice, but <coughs> Vengeance. vengeance. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you go Vengeance, there's like Vengeance Effects Volume 1 and Volume 2. Oh, and in all the Vengeance packs, there's an effects folder with like this fucking thousands of them. Yeah, so basically so. what you need to do is you go into the Vengeance pack, it's quite tricky this, uh, you open up a Vengeance whoosh noise and then you drag it and drop it into your tune. Yeah. So remember there's two parts, it's really important, drag and drop. And you, they're both really important, if you don't drag it, you don't drop it. Don't drop and drag. It's not in the tune. Um, so, um, so add those, and if you want to get techy and make it yourself, you could get, without getting too much detail, you could get like massive and you could like automate a pitch bend and like a filter sweep and shit like that. Yeah, um, I, do, I do do that, for, um, it, that's when you can do it more um, tonally in key. So like, you've noticed these noises, if you listen to them, they're noisy, there's no particular um, note to them per se. Um, if you want to have more of a reference to the actual key of the track, i.e. what scale it's in, like, you can do that with a synth and automate yeah. them yourselves. But um, Again, it all just depends on what you want to do. Exactly. Okay, and then the other thing we've got going on here is we've got, like, in the breakdown, we have got these kind of bass noises, um, which are kind of cues from the actual tune. The thing we often get is we get, like, the bass line from the main drop, and we'll edit it in the breakdown, we'll high pass it. So the filter here, and as you can see, um, we're going to hit play now before it drops, and you'll see the filter move up. So there'll be that kind of a bass line noise going, oh, 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 oh. the key is to make as much space before it drops as possible in the low end. Yeah, the, the, the no one any sub before a drop yeah, if possible. The yes. Because it's that's where the energy when you think about an allowed system, that's where the energy comes from, is the big subs and, yeah. and your big speakers. And so if you're getting rid of that before it actually drops with the main tune and that adds to the impact. kind of impact. Way more yeah. Impact. yeah, remember less is more before breakdown. Yeah. Hence why we've dropped this to oh mate, that's sick. Yeah. Because there's literally a vocal. No, there's it, there's no bass and, yeah. and it creates a space and it goes boom. Yeah. If it was bassing, like loads of kicks going right into the impact had dropped, it would lose its impact. Anyway, I'll show you now how this is kind of the, doing other things. Like we use this quite often in a lot of different elements. It's like a high pass filter sweep. So if we that, you can hear that, but you should be able to see that fine. Um, and that's basically we're using a, a filter plug in here, the Vengeance one. There's lots of different ones you can use, and it's just basically again just to take out any bass before the drop. Yeah, um, and, and also I was going to say, I mean, it's it's somewhat of a timeless cliche now, though, having a sample before the drop. It's, yeah, you could uh, so many tunes having, do it, but um, it, it works. It's a kind of method that has worked, and you know, I'm sure we continue to like use. Drum, years, ro drum, yeah. drum rolls are good. Yeah. Sometimes silence is good in the right tune, mm. or like I just a. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm just going to go back for one second. Um, to the actual structure of the tune and talk about these ABA sections. Now it's important to, main, to, to bear in mind that you don't have to do ABA sections. For example, Zom no. Zomboy tends to just do A and a B and yeah. then back to the break. Well, many, I mean, it's, it's, it's the blocks of 16s that's most important and, and generally in multiples of what, two kind of things. Yeah, so, or, or two or three or four. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of Dr. P tunes will have sort of three or four different sections. For example, Big Boss is a good example. It's got loads of sections before the breakdown. The fundamental thing is that there are blocks of 16 bars. Do not put blocks of eight bars in anywhere because that will completely throw people out of sync yeah. with another tune they're timing up because everything's done in 16. Mm. Um, I mean, it's a tricky subject to cover this, really, and hopefully that's enough that you kind of got the gist of it. Mm. Um, because quite a few, a few of my mates have asked me about this, and that's kind of what I've drawn yeah. up these diagrams to explain. Yeah, by this. Yeah. And also, when you're going between A and B sections, it's good to kind of, similar thing, cut out your sub towards the end of the phrase. So when you go into the B section, and have like kind of, kind of yeah. noises at the beginning of it, and like kind of like, to, 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 noises before, yeah, to just to kind of, that it's, that it's going, going into the again. next, it's going yeah. into your B section. Like because if it's too unannounced, it sounds yeah, weird. Yeah, giving a clue to your listener that this, something's going to happen. Yeah. Like, the predictability, but then, you know, yeah. make sure it changes. Anyway, too. we've completely run out of time now, so I hope that made sense. If it didn't, and um, we kind of rushed things, or didn't make any fucking sense at Give all. Give up. Give it. <laughs> let us know, let us know. Just hit us up on Twitter and say, Dodge, you're talking shit again. Didn't understand it. Um, hopefully it was useful. Um, but yeah, remember to subscribe to our channel, which should be, again, here as usual. Um, 
next time I don't know what we're doing we might be doing some respaces things next mm -hmm. time um, yeah subscribe to the channel regular channels last Friday of every month see you next time peace